In my main video about the DJI Mini 3 Pro, I said that on a typical flight, I was getting about 25 minutes battery life. But what's a typical flight? That doesn't really mean anything. Everyone uses these drones slightly differently. And so today I thought I'd come down with four freshly charged drone batteries and show you in four completely different situations what the battery life is like on this drone. We're gonna do two hover tests and two flying tests. So we'll start off with hovering low, then we'll do hovering high, then we'll do flying constantly but slowly in cine mode and then we'll do flying constantly in sport mode quickly. And I'm also gonna be filming the whole time on the drone for every single test. So we kind of get worst case scenario, like what's the, what's the battery life like when we're filming, when we're flying. So the numbers that we get are realistic rather than optimistic. It's also three degrees outside today. So that's gonna hit the battery life a little bit anyway. And so the numbers that we get today should be like absolute worst case scenario, real world flight time numbers. So hopefully this will be helpful. Okay, so we'll start off with the low hover test. I'm just gonna hover it at about this height and we'll just see what the battery life's like. 100% taken off. Take off. And I've got the stopwatch going and we'll just leave that running until it's dead. See how long it does. It's also worth pointing out that there is almost no wind at all today. So it's cold, but there's no wind at all. So if it was a windy day, you might get slightly shorter results, but this just gives you a rough idea. We've just hit 20% battery and we've been going for 22 and a half minutes so far. Okay, so 15%, it started giving me the low battery warning, which is when it tells you to go home. And I think that carries on until it gets to 10%. And at 10%, it either returns to home, which I will just cancel, or it tries to land. Basically, this drone does all it can to make sure it doesn't run out of battery mid-air far away from you. Okay, so it's now gonna about to land. So I will try and cancel that, but it's really fighting against me. <laughs> it's now 9% and I'm just kind of holding the stick up a little bit to stop it from landing. So that's now reading is 0% on the battery. We just hit 28 minutes. But obviously at this point you have no control left over the drone. And so I think we can pretty safely say when you're doing minimal hovering, you get around 28, 28 and a half minutes flight time. There we go. Okay, grand total for that flight was 28.42 and that's that's the absolute max you're not really able to fly it for that long but if you need that amount of battery life that's roughly what you get when you're just doing a hover so now let's do the same thing again um but this time send it up for high hover so i will start recording and send it up So this time we'll take it up to its maximum height that you're allowed to fly at. Um, I'll point it that way. Which is 120 meters, so we'll take it up to about 115. Okay, that's at 115, and we'll just let it hover there. And I'll do the same kind of thing on this flight. We'll just let it sit there for as long as we can, but we're now at 115 meters rather than 0.3 meters. See if it makes a difference. It's also just pretty cool. This drone is, what, 100 meters above me right now, directly above me, and I can't hear anything at all. Like, it's completely silent. With a lot of the bigger drones, even at this height, you'd still be able to hear them quite clearly, because it's literally right above me. Okay, little, little update. We are just about 50% through, and so far, 13.20. 13 minutes 20. So what's that? That's like, if we doubled it, almost exactly the same as the first one. So at the moment, they're looking pretty close. The sun's probably coming up now, which is really nice. And we are just about to hit 20%. And I think because of how high we are at 10%, I'm gonna start bringing it down just so we don't have any dropping out of the sky issues. Okay, that's the 15% warning. So I'm gonna bring it down low, keep it flying, but bring it down much lower now. Cool, so I'll keep it hovering around here until we run out of juice, see how we do. Okay, so it's now 10%, which is when it tries to land. Ah, it's running out. Okay, so that was high hover, 2720. 
almost exactly the same. That's done a great job. Okay, so that's the two hover tests. We're now gonna do the two flying tests. So we'll start off with the cine mode, slowly flying constantly and see how we do. Start recording, taking off. And let's go. So I'm gonna fly around fairly high, um, but we're just gonna be constantly moving the whole time this time. Okay, a little update. Because I'm quite confused about how this is going. We're on 16 minutes, 16.10, and we've just hit 50%. So at the moment, we're on track for like 31, 32 minutes, which is a good few minutes longer than we were getting when we were hovering. So maybe hovering actually uses up more battery for some reason, and flying around uses less. I'm not sure. But so far, this is pretty impressive, to be honest. The main issue of this test is just having to hold my thumb completely still on the stick for 20 minutes straight. This is when you wish this drone had cruise control like some of the bigger models. Okay, I've hit 20%, so I'm starting to get return to home notifications, which you can just press cancel and override. Um, you can keep on flying. But if you don't press cancel, if you lose signal, if for some reason you don't cancel that, the drone will then go up to whatever altitude you've set and just start flying back to you and then slowly land. So it's the kind of thing where unless it's really windy, you're never gonna lose this drone because of battery life problems. Once it realizes it's getting quite low and it's far away, it will just start flying back. Okay, 10%, which is when the Critically low battery. alarm starts going a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna bring it back over towards me now. And it's doing that same thing before now of trying to land. So you can't really keep flying it around once it gets below 10% but you've got that little bit of extra battery left to bring it back if it's still far away. And it seems like as well, I've never noticed this before, it seems like once it gets below 10%, it goes out of cine mode into normal mode, which I guess is if you're trying to get it back, it will speed it up for you. So it's not flying slowly anymore, it's flying quite quickly. And we're out, so it's landing. 28 minutes, 30 seconds for a slow but constant flight. That's not bad at all. So we've just got one flight left, sport mode. Okay, final flight. We are in sport mode, 100%. Taking off, start the stopwatch, and let's go. So already I can see I'm, I'm literally 30 seconds away and I can already see that the estimated battery life left is way lower than before. So before it was saying kind of 28, 29 minutes, it's now saying, 18 minutes. I think in sport mode, because the propellers are going at full speed the whole time, you're just not going to get the same sort of battery life. It's also a lot louder in this mode. So right now it's 100 meters up and about 200 meters away. And I can still hear it, just about. So if you want to be subtle, stay in cine mode. All right, 50% update. We are 50% battery and we've been going for seven minutes, 20 seconds. So right now we're looking at about probably 14 to 15 minutes total which is not bad for flying at this speed, but it is still a lot less than we were getting before and when we were just hovering. Okay, so same as before, we're now at 20%, so it's starting to pop up with the bring it back home warnings. And again, if you don't touch anything, it will then just fly itself back. But I wanna stay in sport mode and keep on flying around just to really find out how long we can get out of this battery. 15% warning. And then there's the crazy 10% beeping. But we're still flying it around, it's still working. Okay, so at 8% looks like, it takes me out of sport mode and just puts it into, I guess, a more normal mode. And this is when it starts trying to force itself to land. But I'll try and keep on flying it around a little bit just so we can really find out how well it does. And we're on zero. Right, so that was 14 minutes and 28 seconds, which is almost half the time that we got when we were in cine mode. I guess neither of those are exactly what you'd be doing in a real world situation. You wouldn't be constantly flying slowly and you also wouldn't be constantly flying quickly. It'd be somewhere in between the two. But that gives you the two extremes and it also shows you what it would be like if you're just hovering. Normally when I fly, I use a combination of sport mode to get to the location that I'm filming in. And then I flip it into cine mode to get the nice smooth shots where I'm trying to film. Then I'll stick it back into sport mode, take it somewhere else, then back in cine. And it's, you're kind of jumping around between the two all the time. 
Um, but yeah, that gives you a rough idea. I'm now gonna go home and charge up the batteries and then I'll just show you quickly how long it takes to get it back from zero to 100, depending on whether you plug the cable directly into the drone or whether you use the three-way charging brick that comes with the Fly More kit. So hopefully it's been helpful. I'm gonna go back, warm up, charge up the batteries and let you know how long that takes. Just got back home, plugged in all the batteries. I've got two different things going on. So there's the drone on the left with just the USB-C cable going straight into it. And then the three-way block that you get with the Fly More kit um, on the right. Both of them using the same power adapter. Um, so they should take about the same amount of time, but ended up the drone got to 100% a little bit quicker. So that got there in 50 minutes and 35 seconds. And then the three-way charger got there just a little bit later on, about five, six minutes later at 56 minutes and two seconds. But both do a really good job. Both get you there in under an hour, which is great. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all. But otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you soon.